a record energy deal as the hunt for power to power AI continues. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with the latest in the absolute barn burner struggle to get more electricity to power the future of AI, where data center construction startup Crusoe Energy Systems have landed a massive 4.5 gigawatt energy deal. So the way that this deal works is that Crusoe has entered into a joint venture with investment firm Engine Number 1 to strike an agreement with the owner of a set of gas turbines that could generate 4.5 gigawatts of energy by 2027. For some reference, 4.5 gigawatts of energy is enough to power 3.7 time-traveling DeLoreans or a large city like Chicago. Earlier this year, Engine Number 1 announced a partnership with Chevron to develop and scale gas power plants for data center co-location, which will be fed through into this new joint venture. Chris James, the CIO of Engine Number 1, said, This strategic partnership leverages Crusoe's strength in developing purpose-built data centers with Engine Number 1's focus on providing power to sites that support the AI-led industrialization of the U.S., Speed to market is the most crucial aspect of powering AI development in the United States, and the combined expertise of our two firms ensures that we'll be able to deliver that for our customers. Public filings reveal plans for a 360.5 megawatt gas plant in Texas attached to the first Project Stargate data center. That means that if the OpenAI-led joint venture does continue to work with Crusoe to get access to this energy, which presumably is the strategy here, although that's not been confirmed, this would mean enough power to build another 12 facilities of the same size as that first Project Stargate data center in Abilene, Texas. Amir Afradi summed it up nicely. That's a crazy bananas amount of energy. Next up, Intel's newly installed CEO, Lip Bhutan, has discussed his recovery plan for the iconic chipmaker, and it doesn't seem to involve breaking up the company. For quick background in case you missed previous coverage, Tan is a four-decade veteran semiconductor investor that previously served on Intel's board. He walked away from that position last year, reportedly over disagreements on how to write the ship. And according to Reuters reporting, Tan is considering major changes to Intel's manufacturing method and AI strategies. The new trajectory includes restructuring the company's approach to AI and staff cuts to address what Tan views as a slow-moving and bloated middle management layer, revamping the company's manufacturing operations, which at one time only made chips for Intel but have been repurposed to make semiconductors for outside clients such as NVIDIA, is one of Tan's core priorities. This directly addresses one of the critiques of previous CEO Pat Gelsinger, who many felt didn't take the necessary steps to restructure their workforce. Semiconductor industry expert Dylan Patel told Reuters that Gelsinger was, quote, too nice, and that he, quote, didn't want to fire a bunch of middle management in the way they needed to. In the near term, Tan aims to improve performance of the company's manufacturing arm by aggressively seeking new customers. He also plans to develop chips for AI servers and perhaps even explore software robotics and AI foundation models. The medium term goal is to release a new AI chip each year but sources say the first iteration will likely take until 2027. Tan's plan is very similar to one that Gelsinger started in 2021. He also aimed to pivot to AI and expand the customer base. Ultimately, though, plans aren't just about ideas, but about execution, and execution was lacking. Intel ended up posting an annual loss of $19 last year, their first since 1986. Overall, it still feels like a pretty last-ditch pull-out-all-the-stops effort to save the company. Last week, the Wall Street Journal wrote, They say Lip Bhutan is the best hope to fix Intel, if Intel can be fixed at all. Many are skeptical. Take him, the author of the NVIDIA Way, writes, Before Intel shareholders get excited about the prospect for an annual AI chip cadence, they may want to see one market-viable AI chip offering first. Finally today, Elon Musk's XAI has acquired text-to-video startup Hotshot. The small team has shipped three video foundation models over the past two years, playing in the same space as OpenAI's Sora and Google's VO2. Announcing the news, Hotshot CEO Akash Sastry wrote, Training these models has given us a look into how global education, entertainment, communication, and productivity are about to change in the coming years. We're excited to continue scaling these efforts on the largest cluster in the world, Colossus, as a part of XAI. Back in January, during a video game stream, Elon mentioned his company was, quote, working on Grok Video and that it would be released in a few months. And basically all anyone can think is that we are about to get some seriously unhinged AI video coming soon. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines edition. Next up, the main episode.